You can start to overthink things when you're on the road for so long. When you're just sitting by yourself for so long, you can replay a lot of scenarios, and I've found that that's, that's a bad cycle. It's a lot better to plan for the future than focus on things that maybe went wrong in the past. So a few years back, I went through a divorce that really upended my world. I tend to think through a lot of those things. Not, I always try to not forget about the journey. Yeah, being out on the road and traveling has given me time to process the things I've been through and also move forward. about 11 o'clock this morning. I have a hunch that it's gonna be someplace nasty. <laughs> I should be married and have a family. And I just kind of wonder where that mindset originates and if they're right. There's a truck over there that has a bunch of orange juice in the back of it. He tried to deliver it, it was the wrong flavor. So now he's just getting rid of it for free. All right, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. You need help carrying it? No, I'm I know not. you're going to take more than one. I just want one. Oh, there you go. They're good with vodka, too. Thank you. Just doing curls. I don't have a lot of time just to work out. It kind of gets the blood flowing and keeps the drive going along. Curls for the girls? That is the main reason I do them. <laughs> That's what life is like. It's filled with sadness and heaviness and decay. And yet all the same time, there's beauty intermingled right with it. And that's my constant hope is to be able to find that, show it to other people and push to see, always see the beauty even in the, even in the heaviness or the struggle. sunsets, deteriorating barns. Um, there was a lot of times where it felt like everything lined up beyond my control. Ultimately, that's the hope for my whole life, that things line up beyond what I can control even. 